This is just a video to tell everyone where I've been and what's been happening. I've been rather inactive for quite a while. And I'm doing this video without a script, so it's just going to be off the top of my head. So if I jump back and forth between things, I'm sorry. But, um, first thing, the glasses. That's new, and we'll get to that at towards the end of the video. A little while ago, I was on a group ride with DC Unplugged. If you don't know who he is, go check him out on YouTube. Um, he's got some amazing videos. I've known him for a few years now. Nicest guy, you should check out his stuff. I'll put a link in the description. Now, we were on a ride, and um, while I was on that ride, at some point, I'd say less than an hour in, um, I had something go into my eye. I don't know if it was a mug or a piece of pollen or whatever it was. Something went into my eye. And um, I kind of freaked out a little bit. You know, my heart rate jumped up. And um, when that happened, um, my heart rate really jumped up and was getting faster and faster and it was starting to hurt my chest. So I've pulled over, stopped, sat down on the deck and from there it just progressively got worse. It, it, um, my heart rate was doing like 200 to 250 beats per minute. Um, I had dizziness, a headache, pain in my chest, pain in my left arm as well and hard to breathe, couldn't sit up, just, I'm not going to say I had a heart attack, because technically it's not what I had, but I had all the painful symptoms of one, and I'll explain that as we go on. So, yeah, I, I've sort of just dropped to the ground, and um, all the guys and girls on the ride, they, they watched me while they called an the ambulance, and watched me to make sure um, I was okay, and I say thank you to all the people on the ride, you saved my life. Literally, you actually saved my life. So, the ambulance comes, and they do all the normal blood pressure and stuff, and I'm still in pain at this point in time. It took uh, 40 minutes for the ambulance to arrive, so yeah, I was still having issues. They do blood pressure and heart, and that's when I learned my heart was doing over 200 beats per minute and um, they did a blood sugar and my blood sugar was too high for the machine to read that's really not good um, that can happen uh, your body can release sugar into your blood when you have um, a stressful event but this was really really high it was really um, high so we get to the hospital and they give me a bunch of drugs and fentanyl yes they gave me fentanyl I was in that much pain it helped it so I could talk but I was still in a lot of pain for the rest of that day it turns out I had atrial flutter which is um where the top half of your heart and you got the top and bottom the top half will beat like that and that's why my heart rate was so fast. So, um, there's a procedure that you can do called electrocardioversion, which they did do after a few days. But before that, we, they needed to figure out why my blood sugar was so high. Turns out, I have diabetes. And I've probably had it for quite some time, according to them. Um, type 2 diabetes, I'm on insulin and some medication now. The side effects are not great um, of the, the tablet I take at night. It's called metformin, and that stuff is brutal. Um, but it's helping, and um, beyond the diabetes, I had to have the electrocardio version done. Um, in layman's terms, it is literally a defibrillator put on chest on the side, and they shock your heart at a specific point at specific voltage to reset your heart into sinus rhythm. So instead of that, you've got the normal heart rhythm. Um, while I was in hospital, my vision got progressively worse and worse. And um, 
I've had these glasses for a while, but I've only usually needed to use them when I need to read something up close. But now I'm having to wear them almost constantly. Um, I went to the the optometrist after I got out of hospital after five days, and I have the beginnings of cataracts. Um, for those that don't know what a cataract is, simplest you've got the lens inside your eye that focuses light onto the back of your eye called the retina to create images. The lens has started going cloudy, and that's what's called cataracts. Um, it is you can get it fixed with a surgical procedure. They take that lens and put in an artificial one, and that'll fix, like, they won't get the new ones. I don't think the new ones can go cloudy. I think because they're artificial, they won't ever actually go cloudy. So, but for the moment, I can see pretty well, um, but that's why I've got these. So, that's what's been happening. Um, getting on top of my um, diabetes condition and um, you know taking my insulin taking my medication and that's what's been happening um, the review for the Dragon Predator is coming I'm actually up early in the morning doing this video right before I shoot the review video so that'll be coming very very soon probably today later today or early tomorrow will be a review but I just wanted to update everyone on what's going on so I'll see you all later.